okay we might as well just start um, so not this one but this one and then this one and then this one so 22nd August 2019 um, Thursday 6 39 p.m. see the post is up okay. we're gonna be seen all right um, how do I put this what brings you to Latvia and what are your impressions can you repeat sorry <laughs> what brings you to Latvia so what is the reason you came to Latvia and what are your impressions so far okay for me or for Simon yeah, both I mean <laughs> who who is the gentleman between you two <laughs> <laughs> so we came here because last year I visited the Balkan two years ago you also visited Balkan okay. uh, yes a little bit so so we wanted to start a new experience together this time because mm -hmm. first we've been alone and now we are together and we think about Baltics mm -hmm. we always wanted to visit Baltics for a new experience and also we can do in camping here oh it's very green so it was perfect to can I ask you why you wanted to come to the Baltics so you live in France right yes so I'm, I'm just imagining you just just no 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 so all all those all those french things that you do so <laughs> why why at one point you decide oh Baltics I should I should go there yeah honestly it's because I always heard that in Baltics there is a lot of wonderful women <laughs> so it was one of the reasons mm. for which I wanted to come specifically Baltics or just Eastern Europe mm, specifically Baltics <laughs> So what do you think about uh, Baltic women? They are so beautiful. I'm a really <laughs> actually. So is it the same for you? You lived in Colombia and thought you wanted to go to the Baltics? No, not at all. Uh, my first experience in Europe was uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. I was traveling for 21 days and I visited eight countries. But like the same touristic places that all the people know. So like Spain, France, Germany. Mm -hmm. So. Now that we are together, we, we want to travel around all the world. And that includes uh, some places that they are not the most touristic, but they are so beautiful. Mm. And for us, it's so important, not only like, uh, yes, of course, the tourist places, but the nature, it's so important for us. Mm -hmm. So we saw the possibility to know really beautiful places in the ba Baltic countries. So, for example, our first experience in Vilnius was really cool because we start to see the mix between the urban city and the nature. Mm. And we saw that in um, each capital it's more. So, for example, here the mix is bigger. We, we did the camping in... In Piedjura? No. Mm. You're in a Latvian city? Yes, yes, here. here. One in Riga. One the name hour. of the train stop is Ga Gagu? Gaju? Gajua? Gaju. Gaulia? Yes, I think Probably. so. Okay. That it's We've in the Gulf. There. Okay, yeah. The, you mean the National Park, I guess? Yes. Mm -hmm. It was very nice, very beautiful. Also, in Vilnius, we had a good experience. We've been near the cathedral mm -hmm. and we wanted to visit a bit of forest we start to hike a little bit and it was near the embassy the the ambassade of netherlands mm -hmm. and it was nothing except green space a bit of hills and forest so mm -hmm. we put the camp for three hours in the day inside of a day it was like 3 p.m mm -hmm. and we camp we can sleep for three hours and then we we've been go back we back to the cities and that's unbelievable because we were we were at five minute walks from a touristic place mm -hmm. and we were totally alone yes hiding for hiding all, for all everybody. the people so it was really cool you should go, you guys should be exhibitionists it makes it more <laughs> <interesting>. <laughs> no not at all <laughs> not at all <laughs> <laughs> it's, inter it's interesting to me that you are from basically you are from another continent right and you are from western Europe yes and that you actually seek out the well still the new europe mm -hmm. let's call it that way because technically i would say if if we compare between french and latin people 
I would say more Latvians would go to France than French people to Latvia. That's true. Yes, it's true. I guess so. So, what is your then your next stop then? It seems that you don't stop just uh, with Latvia or, or Lithuania. Next, uh, we will go to Tallinn. Mm -hmm. We will also do camping over there, and probably to Helsinki. And then? Then we will go back for study to work. Oh, you're right. You, you said you're, you're students. So, what do you study? I Did am a lawyer in Colombia. <laughs> What is a lawyer in Colombia? <sighs> Avogado. It's so it's so uh, it's so difficult to imagine being a lawyer in Colombia because all I know about Colombia is what I see in the movies. Mm -hmm. Right. What do you think about Colombia? <laughs> so, Colombia. Um, was it the number one? cocaine producing country in the world or not? Uh, yes, it's true. It was number one, right? I think it was number one. And it, uh, so was yeah, so what, one, so what I've seen from movies, right, is that there's a lot of money, there's a lot of money, but it's been controlled by mostly organized uh, gangsters. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, it's a shame. And uh, as I told many times to Simon, it's not easier to me um, live with that perception because for example his family when we he met me he thought that i came from a family of narcotraffic or something like that because of course from that's the people I, that's what i wanted to ask you yes as well. exactly that's uh, that's why be, I, right, I want but to don't get me wrong even though this is uh, sort of public you can be honest and tell the truth no of course right? <laughs> <laughs> it's bad because this is the perception that all the people think to all the girls are um, prostitutes or came from a is family. That, is that a stereotype of Colombia? Yes, if you saw in Netflix or I or, thought, I or thought, the no, Surya no, I think, I I think too, about Colombian women, they just say that they are very well, sort of like a Brazilian or or other uh, South American women, just sort of very um, what's what's called um, not feisty, but sort of like temperamental. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but for example, in USA, the people think something like that. Uh, when I was in, um, I don't know, I had to stop there to come here the first time in the airport of New Jersey, and mm -hmm. the people uh, stopped me, the police, only because I was a woman who was traveling alone with a backpack. And the question. That is suspicious, let's be honest. That yes, is was an stereotype what are you of the people. Young lady? No, I didn't bring anything. <laughs> a small backpack with my clothes, that's all. But uh, not all the people from Colombia, it's like that. Actually, uh, it's like an stereotype, as I told you. And it's only a small percentage of the people of my country who do that kind of business. Also, the, is don't, get me, don't get me wrong, though. I don't mind the drug business. I don't mind it at all. I just don't. I just don't think it should be illegal because it makes uh, harder for for the product to be uh, uh, well, sort of um, of good quality and for people to be protected. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like the situation in America with uh, weed legalization, right? A lot of states have legalized weed, sort of, mm -hmm. right? And now all of a sudden, what do the gangsters do? They cannot compete, right? Because it's a legal business. They don't need the guns. What for? Yes, but that's also another problem. What? If the weed or the guns? The, if they legalize weeds, they will start to traffic other things, and which is well, up worse. To, up to a point. Imagine if cocaine was, would would be legal. Then it would it would be a legitimate business in Colombia. It is in yeah. Portugal, and it's I think it decriminalized in Portugal. Decriminalized, yes. Yeah. yeah. So you can have more than. Five grams of cocaine. You don't, you don't get punished. Yes. But it's still sort of illegal. It's still, yes. But it's more easier for the recuperation, the rehabs mm -hmm. for the drugs addict because they push them to to get a better life. I think it's the same in Switzerland. I think yes, in Switzerland probably. They, they have all those clinics that you can f get free heroin mm -hmm. and free cocaine. I think so. Something something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it was sort of related to the... Because they had an epidemic 
I think yes. in the 80s, something mm-hmm. like that. So, so that's why they chose that way, and then they sort of have a better situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But for the Colombian, it's uh, it's a shame because they start to change all the economic part with cocaine. So all the economy was based on the cocaine. And I don't know. I no, don't but know. it's not true actually. What are the, what are the you probably have agriculture? N- no, and really a big industrial industrialized uh, part of my country. It, there is not only agricultural. For example, I was working the last three years because uh, before to came here in the biggest company of uh, logistic national international of my country and of course this is not that all with drug this is distribution transport <laughs> now of course because we make many we business <laughs> now we make many deals and business with uh, united states and you know that the all the laws are really strict so if not we we'll couldn't make mm-hmm. any deal mm-hmm. and that was for example <laughs> we have the Colombian coffee, the flowers, the import of flowers, uh, right. many, uh, how can I say that, manufacture uh, products like bags, shoes, uh, clothes too. Actually, I think that mm. my country has a really good um, industry. It's not only agriculture. Mm. Of course, a big part of the territory is like that, but you can find two re- uh, big enterprises. Mm -hmm. that are expanding around the continent. Mm -hmm. What is the situation? Because is your neighboring country Venezuela? Yes. What's the situation? Did they they immigrate to to Colombia? Yes. And it's so difficult because Colombia is not a rich country that can help all the people. And I think that the biggest part of the immigration of Venezuela is going from Colombia. So it's not easier to help the people from Colombia and the people from Venezuela. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that the social problems are increasing, like yeah. the security problems, health problems, uh, I don't know, many things in my country. So I think it's difficult now, even in the big cities, it's difficult. France is pretty chill, right? You don't have too, man- too much problems. No, it's oh no! Wait, so you had the you had recently the the green vests or the yellow vest? The yellow. The oh yes, the the, the yellow jacket. jacket. <laughs> so what was that about? It was about they wanted to put a tax on the fuel for okay. the ecological, yeah. and also they start to tax many products, and the people was against this, so they start to manifest, and also the algorithm of on Facebook, it was like. They start to put some groups on Facebook and bigger, bigger, bigger. So mm. at the end, in more than 2,000 cities, there, there was this big blockus. Mm. Even in my hometown, where on the north of France, they blocked the road for a few, few minutes. Then they let pass few cars and it start to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And Who organizes that? Hmm. I think it's, uh, it's political, between politicians, they... They did like a kind of a knife in the back, you know. They tried to put the party of Macron very down. Maybe the right part, I don't know. Or it's just the, the algorithm on Facebook. That's a theory. Yeah, at the end, in politics, you never know. Because it seems to me that some organized groups are acting. Like yes, it's not. It's not like a mob just ca- came together and sort of decided how to organize everything. They, they start l- without organization, and then they they, are th- they create a new party, like uh, the Workers Party, and they try to which wasn't before uh, there. Not. It wasn't there before. The Workers Party. There was no Workers Party in France. Seems impossible. Mm. Sort of it, as it as was sort of like it was not Fran- popular at all. Isn't France the only country that should have a workers' party? <laughs> it was one before, but not popular at all. Yeah. And so now we, they they have popularities. Okay. They have maybe twelve percent. Well, what's your opinion? Where where should France go? Do do, do do you have the tax, or do do you do you now live without the tax because of the protests? So we live without the tax now. Mm-hmm. So the protest works. Yes, they also change uh, the minimum salary. They put it hundred euros more. Because of the protest. Yes, of the because of the protest. 
so strange. Yeah, but it was a very big deal for them. You imagine all the Champs Elysees full of people throwing, uh, yelling, and doing like a war, civil war inside of Champs Elysees. It was. A it seems to me that all right, this point goes to them. Mm -hmm. They got what they wanted, sort of. But at one point they will demand something more, right? Mm -hmm. So then again, also protests, also damage, also unrest. You know, I see. I see the countries like it's the countries of the right of human law. Mm -hmm. They put it in the, the 17th centuries, and after that, in the 68, the big revolution. Do you know about it? You mean France? Yes. 68? Yes, it was a very big revolution. You mean 1968? Yeah, 1968. 1968? No, uh, yeah, 1968. And after, after the Second World War? Yes. I so think it wasn't the president de Gaulle? Yes. They, they are the big blockers. Okay. All the workers stopped to work during more than five or six days. Okay. And it was a big revolution in France. So we start to have very different hierarchic parts and all kind of stuff. Who makes the, the law for the workers very, very good. So now in France we're working 35 hours a week. Oh, really? Yes, and we have at least five weeks of holidays, more two weeks. And also other stuff that can bring you holidays from mm. your employers. It's up to them, like optimization, fiscal. Yeah. So the right before 68, I think it was more than uh, between 50 and 60 hours a week of work. Mm -hmm. After that, it passed to 40 and then 35. And so when is it going to be 30? Soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that Macron want to increase the hours, no? Probably. Yeah, of course, I think it makes sense. To increase the hours? Yes. Or decrease the hours? Increase. Why increase? Come on, that's not French. <laughs> <laughs> because but the purpose of a uh, work less hours were, were to increase the person who will be uh, who could be working but that was the opposite so now the people have less hours to work but have had more jobs to do mm -hmm. it's that no but it's not bad right or do you mean that they also earn less Yes, they, if they work more, they will earn less. Uh, they will earn more. No, no, but what I mean is, if you work, instead of 40 hours, if you work 35 hours and you get the same salary, you benefit. Mm. You have less time, but the same amount of money. But it's not the same salary. It I, should be. I don't know Otherwise, about it. Otherwise, it's, no, it's nothing no, useful. I don't know about it. I know you can do more hours and you will get more paid, mm -hmm. but for the change, I don't know, because I didn't, I wasn't worker at this time, and now I'm working as a job student. So. That's the problem. Mm. What about you? You probably uh, have some work experience. Yes, of course. In Colombia, I was working. See, see, you Frenchman. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Yes, my first experience uh, after to get my title as lawyer was in a German company in Colombia, not about drugs, about telecommunication and the industry <laughs> military. And military? Uh, yes, military. For Colombia? Yes, of course. And there are many there. So we were... And you are still sure that it was not related to the drugs, eh? Yes, <laughs> we're pretty sure about Cause that. Because I, I would <laughs> imagine the one super duper buyer of guns in Colombia should be the cartels. <laughs> no, I don't Makes think sense. that. <laughs> Unless with the industry of Germany. It's not like that. Oh, wait so a second. So German company manufacturing something in Colombia? No, it's not manufacturing. It has um, equipment of telecommunication, uh, intelligence, or uh, other kind of things of the military industry in Colombia. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so I was working there my first uh, three years. Mm. Uh, and then I was working for two years in the company that I told you of uh, logistic mm -hmm. and then I quit my job and I came to live in France the next year I was studying French what was the reason um, many reasons but the first one uh, or the bigger one is that when I uh, came here 
I saw that Europe is a really big country with a lot of opportunities. The culture uh, really makes me in love of each part of Europe and I decided that I want to try to start over again here. Start over? Yes, it's almost a start over because you know that as a lawyer I can work in each country as nothing. So for example, now even with my title and with my experience I can work in Europe as a lawyer. I need to make an homologation and that, that's why I'm studying French. Mm. And I need a really good level of French to present a um, big exam to um, to win my title as lawyer and start here. So it's the, that's why I told you that it's like a start over again. But why particularly French? Why not in Germany, for instance? Uh, the coast, for example, Germany. It's so expensive to live. Even if I can, yeah. if I, yes, if you compare with France, it's easy. It's expensive for it's, me it's also easier to come f study in france but no they put a new new rules for example before for out of europe you can come and have a master degrees okay. for 500 euros a year or a bachelor for 300 euros a year and now it will be 3000 and 5000 hmm. they changed yes the, the last year changed the last year which is pretty regular Right. Yes, pretty regular. Yeah, pretty regular. But before Europe, uh, France was like uh, the biggest arrive for Africans, Americans, for all over the world. You can you can came mm -hmm. to France and have a cheap education. That was very nice. Yes. But, but Germany coast. still is right. I think Germany is still a, a nice place for students to go. Yes, but the it's not a language that it's similar for my language, the Spanish. So I would that ah, so that take, was one of the reasons. Yes, mm -hmm. there are many reasons. There are no only one. Okay. So on the coast, the the wine, the visa was easier. <laughs> uh, France it's a central uh, point to travel. I love the culture of France. I love the French. I love. I really love that language. Uh, many things. The language sounds nice. Yes, that, the French that, is so beautiful, that, so romantic. That you have to, yeah, that you have to admit, that's for sure. But other than that, it seems that France is, fr France is sort of, uh, um, well, it's more like a nostalgic country, right, than mm -hmm. a, than a modern futuristic country, right? What is your point for that? Well, then you would be, let's say, more inclined to be, sort of traditionalist as an as an uh, progressive uh, and just oh yeah innovation innovation future future they d they don't invest in innovation but they invest a lot of agriculture now also we have a new toyota big industries in france hmm. no the point is they want to bring the biggest companies in france to make more work increase the peb yeah that's the point they also produce a lot, a lot of uh, militaries products. French? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? And... What type of companies come from I mean, France? I have no idea. Oh. But I know they produce to... They deliver the... Um, what is the name of this avion? A Airbus. Airbus? Airbus. Yes. But also military plane. Oh, but the Airbus is just a joint venture between Germany, France and I think somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that that's that's just a uh, sort of international uh, joint venture for sure. Uh, what do you think about uh, French cars? Hmm. I think they are good. I have old cars from '97, hmm. and it's still working very well. A Renault Twingo. Okay. It's good stuff. It don't consume a lot. You c it's very easy to handle. Very a small. Renault Twingo is it small? Yeah, it's. It looks small, but it's big in uh, and yes, inside, it. inside it's big. <laughs> and you, what do you think about it? I th I don't I don't understand why French cars almost always look very different from the rest of the cars. Mm -hmm. If you look at let's say a modern SUV, you you can see many similarities, right? But then you see a Peugeot a SUV and so hmm, why? <laughs> so it's always like the the designer just wanted to s know. wanted to say no 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 
<laughs> then just made something yeah up. but every the time they start to to copy on the other script. i don't know i don't know it's uh, it's always that you can recognize it as a specific design mm -hmm. but i just i just I almost never understand it <laughs> it's, it's sort of it's like a protest <laughs> against something it seems it seems like a, a, a design of protest <laughs> from revolution all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right you know that's not so bad Hmm? It's not so bad because if all the cards are similar, at, at the end we. What I what I uh, what I have about the French cars uh, or the French driving culture is that the French people like to dr drive economically. Yes, it's true. Small small uh, engines, small cars. Yes. Yeah. Why? Is it really is it really just um, sort of like the, the the want to save money? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yes. Also, we don't see myself, I don't see the point to have a big engine. I prefer invest my money in other stuff, like uh, active income. For buy real estate, buy things that can grow, not a car, because a car is, is lose value very fast and you have to pay insurance, well, you know all the stuff that you have to pay when you are a car, mm. all the expense that go with that. And maybe with my passive income, I will buy a good cars. But now, I mean, car is minimalist. It's for going to work, going to party night, maybe when there is no bus, going to travel, not so far. What are your plans for getting passive income? I will buy real estate, and also uh, I try to make a companies in marketing. In marketing? Yes. Tell me about it. So it's just an idea. I will commercialize it when I came back to France, to Toulouse. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to go to the association sportive, sport association, mm -hmm. and to find them a partnership with big companies. Like this, they give money to the association, and I'm just a commercial between both. Because there's no already established connection between them? No, there is not a lot of established connection, and we have a lot of, um, how to say, activities in the cities that are a club of sports but they start to going down because nobody keep them awake or they they buy new stuff for example we have a lot of gym or notation or dance club that the cities they don't have more budget for uh, the clubs of sports yeah. so the thing will be to find them to are, the, are those are those city funded yes city funds oh interesting so they need more partner Mm -hmm. With a good partner, they can buy more stuff, they can have a bigger club and it's all good for both because they, they, they will give publicity to the companies in exchange of huge stuff and the companies will give them stuff and money. So Have you tried it already? No, it's just an idea. Yeah. Where did you get it from? I just created it. So no books, no friends, no... No books, no, no friends, nothing. Interesting. I like to enough, so I always try. I always try to get ideas, but all the time it came back to like uh, an innovation already created that come in your mind. But it's not a pure creation. Mm. A pure creation is something different. It's like when it's go out your head without saw it before, and I I never saw it. So I think it's a good opportunity. It's a niche market. Nobody's doing that. Maybe few people, but we cannot hear about them. So I want to try at this point. You're talking about getting sponsors for associations? Yes, exactly. So sounds like a regular thing. Sounds like a regular thing, but not as I see it. Like the, the point is to make the association work. And in exchange of that, the association will, will do a big representation, like with the talent, for example, the, the dancers, the, there is many sport that people have a great talent, but they they don't commercialize it. So it's, it's this talent, they can do publicity, like a show on YouTube and then on the social network, it will be sent with the t-shirt of the companies, the product of the companies that they represent. Would you do the commercial? I will do the commercial and the interpret. I will do like, a, I will manage the stuff for getting the final product. I will Who will pay for it? The companies. Huh. But you say you, they don't have money, right? The company have money, of course. And they need a new original marketing field. 
playground. Oh, so you are saying that, for instance, you go to Nike, you get them to provide you with the funds, so you can make the commercial for the association, sort of like that? Yes. Okay. You should test it. I will do it. Yeah. I, I had also other products, but... It's interesting that you, that you are interested in marketing, because th then I would assume you are really, really into all the social media. Uh, I see them as an opportunity to get no, but I don't use them yet. Yet. Yeah. 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 I would have to, of course. But now I'm just starting. I think there is a lot to learn on the algorithm, how it's working. If you want to get more followers, more people that follow you, mm -hmm. it's all process. I don't know. You probably do it just for fun, right? Yes. So it's the only for fun, and because yeah. most of strategy? my close friends and my family, it's far from me. So I try to share some things. What do your What do your Does your family think of you just starting over? Uh, they are happy, of course. My for my father was not really easier because he's more conservative. He's more like the idea that uh, I need to finish my university, get a job, and live all my life in the same job. I somehow thought that uh, Colombia would be a macho culture, that the woman should be just home. Not at all. Colombia is not like that. It's not. This is the northern country like Guatemala. Yes, probably in other countries, but Most. actually I think that maybe 50% of the population who works is the woman. If not, it's more. There is not a conservative people who think that the girl have to stay mm -hmm. in-house. No, it's not like that. Actually, I think that, for example, in many uh, professions, there are more women than men. Of course. And each yeah. time there are more uh, women that are working and getting better better jobs than the men. I read an article, it's uh, between Mexico and Colombia. There is a few little countries, yeah. except Costa Rica, I read about Nicaragua, Guatemala. Guatemala. Those countries have a very bad rate, they uh, have a bad behavior with the women. There is a maltreatment of women. Oh, I don't know. It was an was article. It, it was, was an article, I, I just repeated what I saw, it's a fact. I don't know many things about uh, Central America. Because maltreatment of women is probably more prevalent in Africa, right? Where they mutilate of the genitals and all those things. I would think, I would guess those mm, in South America. I, I just thought South America was a, a sort of like a macho culture, right? Argentina, mm -hmm. Brazil, right? All the, all those, all those. Sorry, but no. the macho thing, it's more from Mexico. And I think that it's from more... Mexico? Yes, the macho. But it's definitely it's in Argentina, Mexico. right? No, Argentina, it's not like that, neither. I was living there for almost one year and not at all. Hmm. Even in the small... What about uh, Brazil? I don't know a lot of Brazil, so I can't yeah. tell you. I don't think the Brazilian are much. Well. Yes, definitely. I Argentina, no. <laughs> I, think, I think all countries who speak either Spanish or Portuguese or Italian are macho. Just by default. No, at all. Just by default. <laughs> Italians, yes. Isn't, it, that was the, isn't the, the word macho from, from one of those countries? Yeah, from Mexico, but that's well from the old movies. The the macho guy yes. and that. Yes. I think all men, all men are macho at the end. <laughs> hmm? All men are a little bit macho. It depends on the culture. Everybody likes to make jokes culture. sometimes. Well, but on uh, gender, yeah, yeah. Well, but but it's not, but that's not really macho. Macho would be really stereotypical. Yes, I, uh, I got your point. Yeah, yeah. So it would be really those. I mean, who else? <laughs> you, you don't. When you hear the word macho, you don't think of Swedish people, right? No, it's true. Yeah, I directly think about tequila Italian tequila just and Mexico. <laughs> I, I, I honestly never thought of because I thought uh, Mexicans were just really big families. That's what I thought about Mexicans, just big families. And very religious. Religious oh yeah, very, very that, uh, religious, yes. All in South America, I think. Mm. No, but really religious, because I think many, many Brazilians are just hypocritical religious. Okay, right? Mexico, no, Mexico, sort of. it's, uh, yes, really religious. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't know, I, I felt I wanted to ask you uh, something more about South America, but it's so, somehow uh left my mind do you have any other stories 
you have uh, when it comes to have you been to South America for instance not yet will you take him Maybe. yes of course <laughs> this is one of my plans and and I want to show actually to all the people that my country is not only about drugs this well, is only know. a small I don't part know. I don't know why you and keep many... emphasizing the drugs because drugs are not bad let's be honest right here's here's a fr here's a man from France no. he knows it's like to it's it's good to have parties right mm. so <laughs> yes it's true. You know he like his 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 uh, drug of choice is wine <laughs> and <No>. smelly cheese <laughs> for me for me it's funny that in Colombia I think that if in all the time that I was living there I met many 15 person who consume weed or ecstasy and that's all mm -hmm. and here in Europe I saw many people who took like like a normal thing so I think that the stereotype is the opposite and le the only th the other thing is that uh, the money in my country is legal of course there are some part that is a uh, part of the war that we have now inside my country like the FARC that it's not really dissolved and the, all the small groups uh, that of course they continue in the drug as drugs deal but most of the money of my country and most of the people do legal things so it's not only about drug no, no, there but, are many that's what I'm, but that's what I'm saying more. there are of course in every country there are people who do a lots of things right uh, legally illegal doesn't matter mm -hmm. but when it comes to stereotypical just what do you think of when you hear Switzerland right clocks and cheese right <laughs> it's it's sort of uh, in those terms because yeah, I don't true. yeah because I don't think uh, again I don't think Colombia producing drugs is something bad I just think you in Colombia should be more interested in having it all legal, right? Of course. Because if you if you have the option to just uh, ship it, then you can use your former company, right? You just ship it legally, and it's a legit business. So, what is your personal opinion about uh, legal drugs and illegal drugs? Do you have a do you differentiate yeah. between? That's a good question. Legal, and illegal. I think that the point is not about if the people took or not. It's the all the business that are in all the chain of commercialization. So probably I don't know. It's only an hypothesis that if the all the drug will be legal, uh, will be easier to uh, to control it. To control it. Because, for example, a buyer can become a seller. Like they buy the cocaine, they cut it, and they can resell it, mm -hmm. and that's make a big chain. It's like uh, the snake who eats the other. Uh, you see, the point. Yes. It's like it's going. But if they go to a shop, like normally, they buy it because they, uh, there is a supplier who is the best, mm -hmm. which best price, best product. So at the end, it's like a Lidl. You go to Lidl for ch cheap. Lidl? Uh, you have uh, Lidls in France. Yes. Yes, ah. of course. Because <laughs> it's German. Uh, yes, store, right? it is. Yeah. yeah, but we have. Mm -hmm. And in Belgium too. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yes, it's everywhere. Well, well, know. the thing is, it, it should be legal. It's true. Mm, but if it's not legal, it's because there is maybe others uh, market that need to be. It's probably just old-fashioned thinking, right? Just conservative thinking. Because it used to be the case w uh, that uh, before the 1960s it was legal. Mm -hmm. At least, at least uh, mostly. Probably in some countries it might not be, but. But I know, for example, in Spain they be in a war between the the grass uh, for the grass for the drug stuff, and it didn't work at all. At the end, it was a big loss of time, loss of money, and. At the end, they, they think about commercial uh, commercialize it in Spain. They are they have already clubs to to smoke. Oh really? Yes. You have to be a citizen I in Spain, and then you can go. Oh wait a second! I think I've heard. Yeah, that they make associations. Yeah, of course. Some clubs or something. Yeah, it's like. totally legal. It's you you go to the club with the prescription of the doctors. Interesting. And I I tried to go when I was younger, uh, seventeen years old, but they didn't let me in. Because it's like uh, it's like an apartment. You can go and 
Well, you can if you would have wanted, you could just find uh, still, right? Yeah. Somebody would sell it to you. Of course. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. So the thing is, yeah, it should be legal everywhere. Like in Amsterdam, there is. A, I think Amsterdam is a good point because you can see there is a lot of people who's going there for uh, smoking mm -hmm. and also for buy cocaine or hard drugs. Uh, probably, probably. And it's like a modal platform, Amsterdam, for going. Um, See, now Amsterdam is famous for drugs and prostitution, right? But still, it's not yeah. a bad reputation. It's just, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not a bad reputation. There is just a neighbor who is not good to, to be for living and this is it. You mean Amsterdam? Yeah, in the red light district, you must not live in there because I guess so. All the yeah. time the junkies are around. So, if you what do you think, guys? Um, and let's be a real, real self-critical. What do you think? Which are the top five countries in the world, just generally speaking? You mean the languages? No, no, no. Just countries in general, where 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 you would live the the nicest lives. Hmm. Which would be the five top countries for you? I think uh, the Canaries, Iceland. Does that count as a country? In Spain. All right, so, so it's Spain. It's a good point, but it's it's in Africa, so the Iceland it's a bit different. But uh, for you? I don't know. I depend. It's that depend. Okay. okay, say one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know, don't so selfish, I would yeah, like yeah. I would like to go to Ind <laughs> Indonesia, and I read many books about many paradisiac places, small do islands. Do you really mean Indonesia or maybe New Zealand? No, Indonesia. Indonesia. I'm Are you pretty sure? sure. Yes, and you I read. I had because I did a podcast, I think three episodes ago, with an Indonesian. Mm -hmm. He definitely didn't sell his country <laughs> for, for that. <laughs> yes, uh, I read many books, yes. and I think that probably it's a really beautiful. So we place, have two cities, right? About nature, of course. There two is countries. Not, uh, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it has a lot of uh, tourist places, but yeah. generally speaking, it's it's probably yeah third world level. I don't know. And so, uh, but New Zealand is supposed to be majestic. So this is yours, New Zealand. Uh, for me, I would say either either Netherlands, uh, Czech Isn't Republic, it? or here's the thing. I think Latvia is in the top five, but I'm not sure which would be the the rest of the two. Mm -hmm. I might guess Finland and uh, maybe Norway, maybe okay. Norway. Yeah. Interesting point. But uh, you are going um, with the code of life and the quality of life with the standards that we saw normally, no? Yes, yes. Ah, yes, but no. Normally with we, the comfort, we don't. We with don't. The comfort yes, but life, normally yeah. we don't follow that kind of standards, yeah. no? Yeah, it's true. Well, it yeah. is. It is true up to a point because if you would have to live without any Wi-Fi, without any infrastructure whatsoever, you would be pissed. You would be pissed. <laughs> yeah, it, you go there for a vacation maybe, right? So, oh, look at that, just nature, nothing else. Uh, but if you would have to live constantly, you'd feel in the Middle Ages. Yeah, but maybe that's not. that's not bad. I think that that depends Ooh. on everyone, uh, of each person. At the end, um, not all the people can uh, love the same things. Hmm, that's now that's a tricky statement that you made. Because <laughs> because here's the thing, if you if we talk about physiological things, you can have you 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 actually do want the same things. It's just that maybe maybe when it comes to food, you like more uh, fruit and I like more vegetables or you know mm -hmm. those kind of differences. But still. We are going for fruit. Uh, we are going to eat. Yeah, of right? interesting. And when it and when it comes to nature, unless you are, I don't know, uh, you know, there are those people who cannot feel f uh, fear or pain. Mm. If you if unless you are one of those, you will you will try to be warm, and you will try to be comfortable, right? So some something uh, something uh, cool like with a cushion. 
or something that is not <laughs> hurtful, right? But you know, for example, uh, thinking about that, sometimes we saw uh, tutorials in YouTube that right. how to make some comfortable things inside of the jungle. So, for example, how to make a um, an apartment I see what you under mean, the but yes, it's, it's but it's it's for <laughs> survival purposes. <laughs> yeah, no, not all the time. We were seeing in yes. even the um, tribals, tribals yes. who live like that. And it's not survival or if that kind of life that they love and it's normal well they don't know any better but why better what is better for you 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 can say that mm. your standard is the same for the other people uh, well that that is what i'm saying i think we we are doing that because you can you as a user as a person who's interested in marketing you will find many times out that yes there are things that it doesn't really matter whether the people are from one part of the part mm. of kind of world or another. They do like these things, right? So you sort of see that. Oh, I guess it's human nature. It's nothing. Yes. It's nothing related to culture. It's nothing related to mm. ethnicity. It's just oh yeah, right. Uh, people feel because it's. I always compare it to the situation where you are in a room and you feel cold. You don't know what the temperature is. You know, don't you don't know the number, right? But you just, I feel chilly, right? I feel a little bit cold, and so there is the point where you don't like it. Maybe somebody else could come into the room and say, "Oh, it's uh, pretty good, right? Pretty good, mm -hmm. yeah." But you drop ten degrees lower, and you both will say, "Oh, it's cold," <laughs> right? There is there is a threshold. It's just that the threshold is different. But I would say there are definitely some type of um, Action well, threshold. <laughs> well, there is sort of a minimum and a maximum, right? Yes. And everything in between has just a variety in it. But there's definitely some fixed, mm. fixed amount. Standard, or I don't know. Well, it's but but it's it's physical. Mm. I mean, literally nobody in the world, just nobody out of the, all the eight billion people in the world, nobody can live in zero degrees, right? It's just <laughs> yeah, somebody can just endure it for a moment. For a brief moment but nobody can live it we are i, th I think some um either some author or some youtube video was uh, was describing that humans are just subtrack subtropical monkeys without fur so they need the subtropical climate mm -hmm. they, they need that 20 to 25 26 degrees uh, temperature. Yes, otherwise they will say, yeah, I'm cold, I'm, I'm hot. It's cold, it's yes. hot. It's true. For example, that's why the reason that we didn't choose like the perfect place or nicest to live, mm -hmm. the same that you, because for us, are so cold. Yes. You know? Switzerland, uh, mm. Sweden are so cold for us. So we try to go more for depends, the tropics. So depends how you look at it, because uh, a lot. I don't know about the Swedish people, but I know about the fin Finnish people. They do like to use the sauna a lot. They the sauna. Yes. Right. So there you have it. You have hot. Yeah, but the thing is, living all the years, going out the street and going to cold. I mean, I, I'm from north, also in France, from Dunkirk near the sea. So it's very cold and rainy and grey. I, I don't know why I thought Dunkirk was somewhere in Poland. No, it's not. Because it's famous for the war, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Operation Dynamo in Dunkirk. There was the last... That's why they call it D-Day? D-Day? No, that's why... That's why what, what is D-Day? You know, the Second World War, D-Day? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I, I read it too, but I don't know why. So but it's not related to Dinsko? I don't think so. Okay. That was Operation Dynamo, like 80,000 80, men died during this war. Mm. And people from Netherlands, Belgium, England, France, mm. all together to survive against Hitler for the last, uh, for the last war. And they all been to to Britain. Mm -hmm. The plane was to escape from boat to Britain. Mm -hmm. Repli. And of course it didn't work as it should be. Mm -hmm. It was a big massacre. So what was your point? Of the, the cold. Point? Yes. It's very grey, very cold, very rainy all the time. In, in Brittany? Uh, in Dunkirk. And that is in Brittany? No, in France. 
But Brittany is in France, right? Uh, Brittany is western part. Dunkirk is north. Ah. Near near border side of Belgium. Okay. Okay. Brittany is maybe 300, 500 kilometers. Mm -hmm. All right. Away. The thing is, the weather is not good at all. It's 300 days raining, almost. Mm -hmm. yes. So I don't want to spend all my life because the, the, the gray brings people sad. Without so sun. how do you think uh, the British survive? Um, because they eat strangely. <laughs> <laughs> At the morning they eat uh, with uh, vinegar, <laughs> all this kind of stuff. No, I'm just kidding. They no, well, they eat. They eat strange. That's for sure. But uh, I think everybody, <laughs> everybody has their own particular breakfast types. It's true. But I always feel better when I go to holidays with my parents to south mm -hmm. of France. Yeah, it's dry, it's sunny, it's hot, just enough. But somehow you don't move there. You just go for vacation. Yes, I I was just going for vacation. It no, in September I go to Toulouse. Yes, because for study. In that moment you don't have the possibility to choose. Yeah. I now you have, and we will go to the south to live. Ah. Yes, we move. So. <laughs> Normally, perfect clima. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the weather, the weather <laughs> would be perfect there. <laughs> is, it, uh, is it similar to Colombia? Colombia is hot, right? No, I don't think that. No, in Colombia there are no seasons like here, and the weather change uh, depending on the level of the seaside that you are. For example, Bogota is a 2600 meter um, up to the seaside, so it's a bit cold. Mm. But if you go to the coast of the ocean, Atlantic or Pacific, uh, of course, it, it's so hot. Mm. So that depends. For example, I miss a lot that of my country because I could stay all the week working really cold, like maybe 15 degrees, and I could I can take a plane mm. to go to go to the coast, uh, really cheap, and spend all the weekend in 30 degrees. With a plane? Yes, it's one one hour or less to go to the seaside, so it's perfect. But it is not expensive? No, not at all. Um, I don't know, probably depending on the day, you can find in 30 euros, 40 euros, round trip t ticket, so it's not expensive. Is it because there, there are no cars available? Or of course cars? there are cars, but they are so far. Ah. And we have the big mountains, we have the cordillera of the, the Andes cordillera. So if you took a, take a car to Bogota from Cartagena, for example, I think it's more la than 10 or 12 hours to arrive. Mm -hmm. It's far, so far. Mm -hmm. But the plane is not expensive and it's easier to go. Is it common in France to go by plane? It's tough to be because with her, uh, all these companies, Ryanair, EasyJet, you can fly from north to south for 9 euros. Really? So yes. now <laughs> everybody is doing it. But before we all go, it's also Netherlands, Belgium, German, we've been to south with the car. Mm -hmm. car. For uh, camping or we go to south for 15 days. Mm -hmm. It's traditional stuff. And now if you go by car, you will have to pay the, the fees for the road and it's more than 70 euros more the fuel you mean in france in france yes in france are so expensive that's what you should protest why do you have so because they sell the cars? road they sell the road to private companies. yeah it's a concession right yes yeah. yeah but they are so expensive so they decide the price and we can do nothing about it it's private companies dude you are french you can't <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I, I mean fight fight <laughs> i'm not politically invested so not yet it's not my uh, purpose in life. I just watch them do it. You just, you just absorb. Yes, and it's it's very interesting for it's very. I have a lot of interest for them because they, it's only the one of the only country where it's possible. In last two years ago in in Russia they changed the retirement age for five years more older. Mm -hmm. uh, they changed it and only five thousand people manifest in Moscow. Uh, well, because everybody understands that the population is getting older, so yeah, of course, there's there's a harder option to keep up the mm. system. 
Yes, but in French they change for one year and it's <laughs> gilet jaune. Manifestation in mm. all the big cities, yes, it's true. But it's weird because uh, in France people also get older, right? The population gets older, right? Yeah, of course. It was this baby, baby boom in '68 between mm. uh, during the big uh, protesting time. Okay. Very very big baby boom, and all these people are getting older, but we don't have more uh, kids now, so. I think they will uh, handle it with immigration. France does have problems with immigration, right? And terrorism, right? Ooh, a little bit. Yeah. We have a problem with terrorism, but immigration, I think it's fine. Is it? So f it depends on the point of view. I remember, I remember talking, I, th I think, at least a couple of years ago uh, with a French. Uh, he was... Um, he worked either at the embassy or he was somehow related mm. to the foreign ministry. And so he said, yes, yes, it's not good, it's not good. Yeah, in five oh. years it will be, it will be bad probably. But let's see, because it's a social country, so the people who understand how it's working, they can have all the benefits of it. And it can be bad intention or good intention, but most of the time people came, they said, I'm a refugee of war, but they came from another country that... Not Just economic mi migrants, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they changed their, their lifestyle. Uh, I do agree with them. I will do the same, probably. So, I think it's a good point, because anyway, the people will die, and we don't have people for working. So, we need to reemplace them. But you have, uh, you, you have a lot of uh, unemployment, right? In France, yeah, probably Spain has the most, as far as I'm concerned. But last time I saw it, it was like ten percent. Which is pretty. Eight percent, yes, it's a lot. Yeah. But also we have these things like uh, if you lose your work, you will have uh, almost the same money that you if you're working. So. But only for a period of time. Ah uh, yes, of course. Yeah, but mm. it's go to three years. So during. What? Yes, you can have it during three years. It so on it it would probably just incentivize people to not work. Totally. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds good. Yes, yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. But in reality, it's different because if they want to keep that, they will have to change like the the educational stuff. They will they change the tax. They, they ch it's good that Macron. It's a good. I think it's a good minister because. I honestly, I honestly, some I don't I don't know anything about uh, French politics. But I remember there was the big question whether or not after after Trump and after Brexit, or or maybe Brexit was before Trump, right? No, it was after. L after? Yes, yeah, Brexit. All right. So uh, you mean after Trump and after Brexit, they thought, oh, maybe maybe what was the what was the woman who wanted to be president? Le Pen. Le Pen. No. Yes, yes. I would. Have, I, I think I would have enjoyed. If she, if she became president of France, it would have be, become more interesting. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any opinions about her? Is she too radical? Mm, I don't have political choice. Really? I, I don't mind about it. Ah, in the sense that if she would have been uh, the president, you would be, oh, whatever. Yes. Hmm. Good choice. Good move. Too, Any, hmm? too much people are afraid about it. About what? About uh, the extreme right, because it can. It's extreme can right means just nationalistic, right? Yes. Yes. Because they fear that's go to bad way. It can go bad way, like it can go to good way. The thing is, oh no! <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen an example? Because they just don't want uh, too much. Mm. The, and then the the question is so when is too much right the left the left people say yeah yeah we should have more uh flexibility mm. and then the conservatives just think no 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 if we give them the little finger they'll take the whole arm <laughs> right yes i yeah. think so well i guess if you just keep them in france and germany then uh, i'll be fine over here because I'm, I'm telling you, no, no immigrants 
uh, no refugees come come to this place. <laughs> it's just either too far or we don't provide enough benefits yes. for for those people. So I if if awesome. if people come, if uh, refugees come here, they just mostly are on their way to Sweden. Mm. Right? They're just passing through. Yeah, I think we need them for uh, the economic. We need real people anyway. It's always good. More people you have in the country, the more you can go ahead. Normally, in normally. Technic technically, after all this automation and um, sort of innovation, technology, technologies, you should be able to do more with less people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and more people would be more uh, probably interested in all these um, sort of new age or new technology fields of work because mm -hmm. marketing is something you probably wouldn't have concerned about 20 years ago of course right? not mm. i wasn't born but it was this series or what's the name of the series uh, about marketing it's very interesting you mean american mad men yeah do you know it i know the the series yes but i'm i'm not sure if i have even watched more than just a few seconds <laughs> but it was uh, but it was pr said to be in the 50s or 60s mm. yes I think yeah well that was the advertising heyday for many things in America yes mm. for sure do you guys have any thoughts about India India yes for sure we want to visit India you too yes really yes why okay so First, because I meet Indians and they have very, very good food. <laughs> <laughs> Beside of that, they are very friendly. They, they are very good friends. Is the, the only people that, they don't know you, but they can talk to you, touch you and say, la, 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 and Indians? Are you sure? Yes, I'm yes. sure. So <laughs> you don't, don't you think? Well, maybe that's because you're blonde. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of that. Uh, but yeah, I've, I mean, if that's your experience, good. Yeah. Yes, they have very good food. Yes, also. I mean, the, our culture completely different to us, so it's good to know some something, no? Yeah, it's one of the biggest population countries in the world. They talk four different big languages. They have more than 100 languages inside. So I think they, they are uh, on a good point. Mm, I also I also see that they take the what is the name like Paris 2040 for the ecological they will no, no. they will arrive to zero pollution to zero emission of CO2 mm -hmm. in 2080 because the country is still growing mm -hmm. but they will be uh, first to a big problem for agriculture because the the, s the field is very poor they cultivate too much We'll see what it will give these countries. I think they are on good path. Better than China? Hmm, no. China is doing very good stuff now. And they, they are... Uh, they're racing with America. Which one are you a better, more of a fan of? Of China or America? Because... Am I, 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 I don't know wrong? China, I cannot Am pronounce. I wrong in, in saying that's a stereotype for French? That they don't like America? Oh, I think you you are... It depends from people's personality. From generations. From generations. I think my generation grew up with America. Mm -hmm. And also the, the philosophy is running the world now. So if you don't want to, to have capital or so be a bit individualist, you will... Uh, of course, it exists many communities who are going through this. For example, kosher thing, all of stuff. I love it. But you, you have this philosophy. Everybody have it. Capitalism, capitalism. Well, innovation. but uh, you would be probably sure to say that there is no need for un unhinged capitalism. Mm. You need to control it. Of course. If there is a need, sorry, I didn't understood. That you, you as a Frenchman, yes, you are probably willing to say that you should control capitalism so it has socialistic value, right? Social value. Mm. 
It should be. Because I'm guessing that that will be still a stereotype even for the young generation of Fr French people that they are very they they are very interested in social justice. Mm, it's true. We 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 want that. Hmm? We we would like to have this social, but for the world it's very big. In France, um, yeah, it's kind of regular, and it's good for everybody. We are all safe, but in the other place it's impossible. For example, in in South America, they are left parties, but they do opposite. Yes, they are not doing a really good job. It's true. Look, Venezuela. So it's all about deontology. It depends on what the politics will do with the money. If they keep them for themselves, okay, so you cannot do nothing with that. What do you think of well? But what do you think then of uh, of living in America, for instance? In America, USA. USA. Yes. I don't like. <laughs> really? Yes, I don't like. Why? Uh, probably uh, I don't know. The idea that he have about the America is the opposite from me. It's like all the people think about only money, 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 and there are no like uh, some ethics, some protection of the family, some uh, culture to keep. There, I don't know. I think that there are no something that can teach me in the Ameri in Americas. It's like it's the opposite from here that I think that here I can learn from all the people. Uh, there are some culture, there are some uh, history that the people uh, took to to getting better each day. All right. I think that in America it's like only the culture of money and that's all. Mm -hmm. I think that the values there get lost. It's my point of view, but. Uh, yeah, the only thing yes, that is remarkable is the innovation of, of them. They that's what I mean. I mean, they have the mentality that everybody actually wants. Yeah. Sort of. I, I think this. But the living is quite different. Because... Um, you mean living in, uh, in USA is different than just living by th their principles? Of course it is. Ah, because really? more than 40% of the family is living uh, under the soil of poverty. Yeah, but they have another standard for poverty. A standard? What do you mean about? Well, uh, I remember I was talking once with uh, an American, mm -hmm. and he said that in America you have uh, sort of around thirty thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. The 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 threshold for considering people under the poverty line. Mm. And so I told them, dude, if I would have in Latvia thirty thousand dollars a year, I would be top m top upper class, right? Mm. And we compared the gasoline prices at that time, and Latvian gas prices were almost four times as high. So I said to them, see, I have more expenses in different areas, and you make ten times, you know, or, or five times more. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's some prospect perspective. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And it's also all about... You can decide over there. There is a lot of work. You can work. It's up to you. I mean, the change is going faster than here, I think. Here, if you want to get a job, it's more uh, difficult. But the thing what? is... Difficult? No, it's not difficult. But in USA, you can start to work for... They, they, they don't have the lowest, pri uh, lowest price to, to get. You can work one hour for five euros, for five... Uh, oh, you mean that they don't have minimum wage? Yes. I don't know. They don't have minimum range. You can start to work for five dollars hours, even three for but immigrates. I oh. think that is because there Maybe. are many work in black. So yes. I know that, for example, many people from my country. I oh, mean, illegally, illegally. Yes, exactly. Black, it's illegal. So probably in in mm. that way, of course, there are no uh, minimum. But this is not like the kind of life that I want. <laughs> of course not. So you want a uh, life uh, at uh, French Riviera? <laughs> French <No>. Riviera. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me it's not only about money. It's about the quality of life. It's like about to have the money, uh, sorry, the time to share with the people that I want, that I love. 
to have the possibility to travel around the world. It's not only about the money, because for example, uh, it's not about the money. I just want to travel around the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. For example. I had a really good job in my country in my last job, mm -hmm. but I was working the seven thirty at the morning and sometimes uh, Monday, Monday to Friday and finish on uh, ten thirty at night. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have time for anything. Yeah, yeah, and for me, this is not life. It's not about money. Well, could you do the same job just uh, twice uh, or half as much? No, Why? the salary was the same, for example. I don't know how it's here, but uh, for in Colombia there are different kind of contracts, mm -hmm. and there are some contracts and uh, which one you have to work, and you have to, um, yes, you you have to work your job, and though no matter how much that take, so if you have to work every day twelve hours, you didn't will receive uh, more salary. Mm -hmm. Yes, they pay you at the mission. Like uh, no, it's I don't know. Yes, if that exists here, because normally you have supplementary hours, but in Colombia there are different kind of contracts. But, uh, I heard happen. that they try to to launch it. The uh, Segolen Royal it's a left party. They try to la launch that kind of stuff, but it doesn't work yet. Yeah, because in my country that happened. Even mm. with a small salary, the people do that. Because so they have no options. Because. Because they have no options. Why do yeah, they do that? Probably. That's one of the reasons that... Yes, for example, now with the, Vene the people from Venezuela, that can happen because the salary in Venezuela, it's worth for anything. So with the salary, you can buy anything. It's better to get, to get a really small salary in Colombia and with that, they can live and send some, some money from the people in his mm -hmm. country. So that could happen. Sometimes the people have fear to lose the job, and they have to job like that, to work like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the idea that we just should take some Swiss people and put them into governments in all in all the places? Let's say you see some problems in your country, just put some Swiss people in your government. You see some problems in your country, just put some Swiss people, or just Austrian or German people. No, because you know, just export, <laughs> just export some government. No, it doesn't work because outsource government. <laughs> yeah. That can be a good idea. No, because because I, th I think uh, can you tell me one Germanic language speaking country that is sort of um, very very uh, problematic? I cannot name one. It's true. Yes, Austria, but I Switzerland, think Germany. All those Scandinavian countries. England, yeah. yeah. Yes, but the problem is not only about the government. It's about the people, about the culture. So oh, the yeah, government can choose also, and change everything. But that would also come with yes, it. Yes, of course. But, but if the people you, you doesn't just put change some Germans in your government in Colombia, and in five years' time you'll be dressed in lederhosen and just drinking beer. Probably. <laughs> yes, the thing is the ontology. Because it's a lot of friendly, friendly politicians and they all working hands by hands. And it's all the, even in the, we see, we see that in the locality, in the, the, the cities. Hmm. For example, they will uh, engage their friends, their families, they will work for the cities, very high end job, they do not The think. corruption that we saw in all the governments yes. and that will not change for some people in the highest level because everything starts in the down level mm. and it's going around so the problematic it's not only on the top we can say we can't I don't know. say you that you have probably that too here but yes like the people who are working for the cities are friends from politicians well but i wouldn't want it any other way because if i would have something to do when it comes to the public office yes I would like to, to have those persons not just as uh, third party commercial entities. I would like them to have, no, no, if you don't do it right, I'll get you next time when I see you at our <laughs> meeting or family reunion, whatever, right? It's, mm. a it's a matter of your attitude. If you, if you look at it as a potential risk for corruption, that's one way, but I use it uh, as, a, as an option to just actually act more efficiently. Right. Mm -hmm. 
It's just a matter of not whether or not I give you the benefit of of not doing anything and not doing anything about it, right? You you can be lazy and I'm not doing anything. Yes. But if you are, let's say, a family member and you, I have provided you with a public office because mm -hmm. I'm in a position, right? And you start not start being lazy and getting not, the things are not getting done, right? I, I view it as a problem, and then I don't look at you as an employer, right? Or an employee. I would look at you as a, a relative, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, I would have more freedom to slap you, right? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Good point. Any final thoughts? We discussed a little bit about India, a little bit about uh, America, a little bit about cocaine. Mm. We should make a big connection between all these countries and export. <laughs> sort of, sort of. Can you can you tell me what is a what is it about the smelly cheese in France? Smelly cheese. Yeah. Roquefort. Ah, uh, but there are many. But what uh, what is it about the, the the cheese? Oh, so we we take the the milk of. Uh, no, no. But why why do French people like that cheese? I don't know. I, I don't like so it. Ah. I love it. I mm -hmm. love yes. You love it? Yes. You know the family is in Paris. <laughs> yes. The thing is, um, in my region, we have the most disgusting one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what? Uh, did you never tried this. Uh, but there is also very good. Don't get me wrong. Of course, there are tasty cheeses, but some of them, I remember somebody coming here and putting it in, in the, the fridge. fridge oh my god but you know and, they were, they and were. <laughs> I, I, need, I had to throw out everything because I didn't recognize it it was the it was the uh, uh, cheese yeah so I thought something <laughs> went bad but there are special things to put the cheese to avoid the yes. smell so we that's the have a special All right, th that should be a warning <laughs> in and of itself right <laughs> yes, of course <laughs> yeah it should be the marketing of the product <laughs> we will adjust how 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 did you discover it being tasty for you? Because it's not a Colombian thing, right? No, not at all. But I uh, I like to arrive to all the countries and taste the uh, traditional dishes. Should I ask Should I ask my podcast guests what they eat in Latvia? Would that be a, a relevant question? That's gonna be a good idea. So, what did you eat in Latvia? the small i don't know if it's only from latvia or all the region but there's a ball balls of pom de terre yes mm. the pom de terre. potatoes the potatoes so what about them just you just ate potatoes <laughs> no and it's inside some meat yes In, a potato is inside meat yes balls of potatoes and meal inside we taste that one and mm. whether I think. I'm not sure what that is. It's like also Pierre Rogli. Ah, Pierre. But this is more everywhere, I think. From Poland? I yeah, think. from Poland. Might be. Might be. But we don't know what is the very traditional dish. Can you advise us? If I would ask you what is a traditional French dish, what would you say? Uh, so I don't know how to uh, define. That depends. Yeah, no? you can have French fries. <laughs> Baguette. Right, but are French fries really from France? Yes, we do. Very good in our region. <laughs> no, no, I thought I thought they originally come from Belgium. <laughs> oh my god. They are a big fight about that. <laughs> but I can say that the French kidding. in in Belgium are so tasty. Sometimes better than in France. So before it was a Flemish countries mm. between France and Belgium. Okay. And we we had fries very good fries from both sides and then we separate from France and Belgium but it's still Flemish countries okay and we both do in good fries we have these cultures in my in North France we have this little house driving a car driving like a, a food truck like a food only truck. for French fries mm -hmm. but it was well before food trucks and we only do fries on it and we also put it in the French bread like a baguette we put the fries inside with a lot of sauce and the sauces, <laughs> special sauces. We don't know what is inside, but it's good, so we eat it. <laughs> Fricadelle. Fricadel That's a traditional dish from North. How can that be? I mean, the, those are all over the place. Fricadelles. Really? Sure. 
Oh, this is a new we make, we make, we, in Latvia, we make soup with frikadels. Really? Sure. Cool. It's just meatballs, basically. Mm, no, but it, no, in France, it's not meatballs. It's only this sauce, but I don't yes. know it's made from what. Um, also, we have this, uh, the first thing that we eat in my house. What was? Uh, tartiflette. Tartiflette. Do you know about it? Sounds like a cake. Not at no, all. It's, uh, it's potatoes with cream and a lot of cheese. A lot of cheese. And then potato with other cream. Like a lasagna, but like made lasagna, from yes, potatoes well. and cheese. And it's amazing. Yes, it's very amazing. Yes. A lot of reblanchon. Very good cheese. All the bakery. Hmm? It's the best, I think. But, the then, but then it's just because of the cheese, right? Yes. The cheese makes the taste. But the macaron, this is so French, no? Macaron, yes, it's also French. Yes. Mm. The macaron? Mm -hmm. Yes. The small dessert that it's like... Yeah, yeah, those weird little color, color yes. things. Yes. Yes. Are they really? I don't know. Because they seem like just... Um, what's, the, what's the word? Bizet cookies? Bizet? Well, I think... Well, I'm not sure how to say it in English, but basically the when you froth the egg white mm -hmm. ah c'est comme les marbeilleux yes this le is meringue meringue je sais pas yes en this is very good too but i was thinking if you want a very good french dishes you should try for a cock cock it's like a chicken but a bigger one it's a rooster a rooster with red wine this is top et le canard canard the duck the duck yeah. also I think this but is those so are fresh. just universal dishes, right? Because people yes. have been eating eating birds all over the place. It's true. I think at the end the food is a bit universal. Yes, it's not. For example, well, the if, le you, if you speak about uh, Italians, pizza. Just pizza. Yes. Right? Yes, but Mozzarella. you can find it in all the world at hmm? the end. What? At the end, the pizza could made a. Uh, could be maybe almost the same thing in other part of the world oh, and yeah, it's but called it's different yeah but it's definitely famous for it right you could you could say yes, it's, it's definitely true. famous france so. is famous for wine it's probably famous for eating uh weird things right like, Ali, like frogs like frogs yes <laughs> frogs uh escargot escargot ah oui les escargots yeah, yeah yeah those snails yes snails yeah, yeah. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't advertise it as well. You want a national dish? Here's some <laughs> snail. I see the French like with this bread behind his arms, the cheese. Yeah, cheese. And the wine. And the yes, baguette, yes, yes. Exactly, and, and, uh, and the beret. And here, what is the caricature from Latvia? Well, th when it comes to that, there is no caricature, for sure. There are, I mean... There are only Fish. a few countries where you can draw such caricatures. Mm. French is the, I think, the most caricature <laughs> in the world. And do you really. like it? Do you like cheese and wine? I don't really like wine, but yeah, cheese. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. So you said you like to partying. And what is your drug when you party? When you have a party? Uh, I think it changes. Uh, nowadays, it's not really even anything remotely um psych psychoactive mm -hmm. if i want to let's say use something as a substance i would just drink a pepsi <laughs> i mean it's still sugar and caffeine yes right? of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> but, it, 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 but it's yeah, sort of legal when yeah, we grew up harmless. I, I do same actually i like to drink soda nose mm -hmm. before i didn't like it i was only vodka vodka but with the time we, we grew up I heard that you are 21? Me? Yes. No, I'm 29. Oh, 29. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I saw your passport. But I, I told I heard that 21. No, when no you talk mind. with the ladies. No, man. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes. But with time, I don't like to party like when I was younger. I, I drink too <laughs> much alcohol, you know, I'm just... Me too. That's why, that's why I really sort of find ways to enjoy being sober yes at uh, events yes, mm -hmm. yes 
Because that's and like, be in total uh, possession of your capacity. Yeah, because you can enjoy the moment more. Yes, that's for sure. Yeah. And also, and you like to make the party and drink. Yes, of course. Not all the time. I, I'm yes. still a young man. I'm only 20. Yes. But the thing is, if you want to be full of capacity for talking, for remembering it, for uh, being yeah, 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 because you are so very many Because many times the af the the the, the, rem the memories are the ones that are actually keeping the emotion. Mm -hmm. Right, if you don't have any memory because you just were so wasted, yeah, it's a waste of time, and exactly, energy, yeah. and money, yeah, yeah, and health, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. that's for sure. What's the what's the beverage in in uh, Colombia? Aguardiente, Aguardiente. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, alcohol made from anise, you know, anise. I've heard of it, I've heard of it. So, is it, is it like a what's what is like like a fruit? No, it's so. It's, anise. It's dry, actually. It's not fruit. It's like water. Looks okay. like water, and it's strong. It's like what? Which percentage of alcohol? Twenty or thirty. Maybe twenty or thirty. And it's very good. No, wait a second. But what is it made of from? An anise. I don't yeah. know. And so what is it? Uh, probably a anise crop. Something like that you grow, right? Yes, it's something that you grow. Yes, that grow, but I it's don't know. But you it cannot eat it. Aromatics. You I can have eat like it. an a, a piece, some. Really? Yes, maybe yes. A pea? No, a a, a piece, a piece. <laughs> <Just about>. Spice? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not, not the spicy. Let me just look up. Yes, please, because I don't know. So what's the word? Anise. A M. E S. A M. N. N. Yes. Anise. Anise. Yes. Mm. Nope. People. Ah. Yes. Anise. Right. Right. Anise. Oh, just a flowering plant. Mm -hmm. It's very tasty. We also do by pasta. itself. Uh, yes. mean by itself? Yes, it's very tasty by itself. Really? It smells very strong. Uh, we also do pasties in France. Ah, I think there's a map. Anise alcohols of the Mediterranean. Arak, Arak, Raki, Mastica, Sambuca, pasties. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> and aguardiente. <laughs> and what, no beers? Uh, no wines? Yes, there are no wines, there are some, but it's few and they're not the best, like in France. And um, beers, yes. A lot of beers, but they are not too much strong. Like 4% maybe of alcohol, they are so tasty. No, they are so good, actually. But mm. room, of course. Wow. Room, a lot of room, actually, mm -hmm. in Colombia too. What's the cultural history of Colombia? Because I know... Argentinians are just Italians who speak for Spanish, right? Brazi Spain. Brazilians are just uh, a lot of mix, mixed mixed uh, people from and just speak Portuguese. So what about Colombia? Uh, Colombia Where do Colombians come from? The colonization was from the Spa Spain. Okay. And Spain came a lot of uh, slaves from mm -hmm. Africa. So sort of the same as in Brazil. Yeah. So in some region we have a lot of uh, like black people, and in other part it's like more mixed. Mm -hmm. So that depends of the answer. Because mm -hmm. for example in Cucuta, I think, mm -hmm. on the south, no, north, close to Venezuela, there are more mixed from people from Germany. So yes, we have a lot of mix. So what about you? I don't know because I'm from Bogota. I'm I don't know. Do you know about where your my grandparents and yes, my grandparents and from? my grand grandparents uh, came from uh, from Cundinamarca, the reg the same region, mm -hmm. the capital is Bogota. So, but I don't know more about more ancestors. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the thing is, my old my grandma, my grandmother, she did the genealogic tree, All right. and she been like thirty hundred uh, sorry three hundred years before 300 mm -hmm. years old and she found out we were all French but after well, what do you mean it doesn't everybody lived in France yes everybody oh. lived in France mm -hmm. 
and after that you cannot find everything so you don't really know where the people from yeah, yeah that's what I mean there's just a <coughs> certain amount yes find out. but <coughs> with the geo geopolitical the geography is moving all the time so well I think changed. I think the French came from sort of Germany mm -hmm. right from the region yes. of Germany and then they yeah sort of divided and then actually because the British Queen Mm -hmm. is, I think is div a sort of divided yes. from Germany. There is also a very interesting map you can see on YouTube. It's going years to years, and you see the, the country is moving. The, ah, yeah, the borders, yes, yes. The borders moving. So yeah, yeah. At the at the end, there is no identity. I think. In my own opinion, well. I would say that border are just a way to put people on the top of the hills and. I think when it comes to borders, it's probably good <coughs> because then it gives some other countries the incentive to be sort of better. Mm -hmm. Well, in a in a quite simplistic way, right? Because competitive. <coughs> yeah, to be competitive, exactly. Because mm -hmm. it's again, I don't I don't think uh, there's any problem with having different cultures. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing there are better. Some cultures are better than others, right? Just, right. just universally. So if Which we if, if we speak about the temperature, uh, uh, what's it called, the the temperature averages, right? Then some are closer to the com comfortable zone, mm -hmm. right? That's what I think. Well, I think uh, Switzerland's probably the the overall, or or the Netherlands, yeah. Mm -hmm. Switzerland or the Netherlands might be, might be the ones. It's, it's true just, it's just I don't want uh, to I'm say I don't want you. to say Switzerland because they don't don't have the sea. <laughs> really. In Netherlands, it's like you go. I've been many times. I'm living nearby, mm -hmm. so I go. I can go by two hours by car, and uh, the living over there is very different from France. Yes. You Should see, uh, I uh, I don't know. The vibe is different. The people were working, smiling all together. I think it's very they are helpful over there. They know how to live together. Yeah, on a small space with lots of lots yes. of people and just probably doing everything that's possible. It's true. Yes. They're yeah. fighting against water, that's a <laughs> big deal. Sort of nobody's yeah. do that. Except so I'm I'm sometimes hesitant to say the Netherlands just because they have the funny language. You think they have a funny language? And yes. That is a funny language. Yeah. If you if you can if you don't understand French, you can s still appreciate the French sounds, right? The phonetics mm -hmm. of, fr of uh, fr uh, French, but uh, the Dutch just seems so hacky. <laughs> yes. it's, just, it's it's like a, a, an Arab mixed with a German, <laughs> sort of. The thing is funny because when I start to learn English. It was not at the school because we only do grammar stuff and listening stuff. We don't talk. Mm -hmm. So I was to camping and of course there is a lot of Dutch in camping. So uh, I had to communicate with them. I start to improve my English skills. And uh, for French it's not easy. In French we don't talk too much because we are, I don't know. A bit Nationalistic, right? Of course they are. I start to improve my English with the Dutch and I keep contact with them. Mm -hmm. Start to talking on WhatsApp and at the end, uh, I was, I start to be fluent in English. So well, I think a lot of Dutch people do speak quite well. Yes, they they yeah. all do. And the Swedish people also. Swedish people also. Yes, yeah, yeah. Surprising. Yeah. I don't know too much about Swedish because it's a bit far. Mm -hmm. I meet few, but never had contact like with the Dutch. Mm -hmm. And the Dutch, they talk all good English. Because they are mostly they are quite good educated. They have nice nice comfortable uh, homes mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah they, I think even oh wait a second that's another stereotype about the uh, Dutch people right that they travel with their with their uh, what's it called those when you when you put the living wagon w with your car and then you drive with the living wagon mm -hmm. uh, the I big wagon off of the car yeah well you know those those type of wagons that you can uh, sort of um, attached to the car. Yes, they you do. Drive around and then you just sleep <laughs> they in there. <laughs> we saw a lot in, in, on the beach, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. 
So yeah, that's that's one stereotype for them. But for sure, every time I've been there, I, I feel like the, maybe the the atmospheres, the vibes from the cities are very different from from France. Very very different. The people know how to live together. In France, it's not really like this. You mean that people are more friendly in the, in the Netherlands? Yes, yes, I think so. Ah. Definitely. They're probably more just. I think they're just more comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I think the Dutch, the the Danish, and the Norwegian are the most comfortable people. You think? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because I think Danish and the Norwegians always co compete for the happiest country in the world <laughs> title. But I think Dutch is sort of th there as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, they, they also the big advantage of the Benelux. The, it's like a parody fiscal, so they can do business very easily. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure about Belgium. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about Belgium. Yeah, in Brussels, they. they just if you if you, if you speak about Belgium, I just think of the European institutions, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than then, just waffles, waffle and chocolate. Right. Well, they do really good stuff. Uh, they they beat London. They work a lot. Uh, in oh wait a second! Um, Belgium has uh, diamonds, diamonds, right? I don't know about that. I think so. I think uh, Antwerp. All right. Yes, in Antwerp. Yes, all the jewelry. Interesting. Oh wait a second! You know what? I, now we, that we speak about diamonds, I, I remembered about Jews, right? France has uh, quite a history with the Jews, right? The Jewish. Because yeah, because I think uh, the the protocols of Zion. Where where originated in France? Mm, I don't know about it. What yeah. is uh, the Protocol of Zion? It's a disputed sort of document about how the Jewish uh, will conquer the world. Right. I it, it was originated. Yeah, I think it was originated in the 18th uh, century, mm -hmm. and so yeah, it was. Um, it was originated in France, then it got trans translated, and then it came into Germany and Russia and so they started uh, getting more active against the Jewish all right yeah because because now everybody knew that the Jewish are conspira con uh, are conspirators against mm -hmm. against uh, and so yeah yeah that was one of the most popular mm -hmm. uh, aspects but yeah you you it, it's I think the official title is the protocols of the elders of Zion all right. And so it's supposed to be some Jewish, Jewish uh, convent. Mm -hmm. uh, like I will have a look at it. Well, I will yeah. watch it. Yeah. And did you heard about it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I am not sure, but I think that in Paris it, uh, there is uh, a monument of um, of some person of the. <coughs> I'm not sure, but I think that I hear about that. Mm. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that the French French had their yes. own story with uh, the Jewish, mm -hmm. and then Germany just took it another level. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have been doing this for one and a half hours. Do you have any any final final thoughts? Um, women's. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. What so about, about the question of uh, local foods. Yes. Do you think do you think I should ask people that? Mm, yes, but we don't really know. We don't really find figure it out what is the local food. So here. when you arrived here, you didn't really Google national food, right? Yes, we did before in oh, Vilnius. In Vilnius, we did. So what did you find there? Oh, very delicious. Uh, yes. What's the name? <laughs> I don't remember Model? the name. Um, the Come on. I don't know where the name. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mode. No. Can you describe it? Yes, it was like um, a piece of uh, sausage. Okay. Around with the baked potatoes. <laughs> ah yeah, the, the bowl of potatoes yeah. that I told. Yes, yes. Um, also the soup, very good soup here. Hmm. The pink one, but uh, I don't know if it's from all the Baltic. The cold one. Yes. yes. Mm. Yeah, I've heard of a couple of people say they the find, find it interesting. Dumping. Ah, oh, yes. Dumping. D dumping. Well, dumplings are everywhere, right? Dumpling. Yes, for example. Yeah, yeah. Very good. 
What what's next? Have you been to Poland? Yes, yes. in Poland we tried a lot of traditional dish, but it's also international. Mm -hmm. It's like potatoes with vegetables and also this big piece of chicken fries. There is also others like um, pork. Ah, oh, the pork. Yeah, it's very good. Yes. All right, I might incorporate incorporate some food talk as well. Yes. It seems to me that a lot of travelers do like to at least taste of course. different yes, of course. different foods, we tried. Yeah. which is which is strange to me because I I would think that uh, people who travel a lot would be quite risk averse. Because you, because you, you all the time you hear the stories. Oh yeah, I went to that country, ate something, and then I sat, sat for the to on the toilet for three hours. <laughs> yeah, it's but a, not for the it's moment. sometimes. But it, when I've been to Turkey, Turkey, I had this problem. <laughs> <laughs> In the farm, I eat spicy, and <laughs> for one week on <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> no, but I like to try new new food. Yes, much. Yeah, you should definitely ask it to people if they what they eat here. Right, all right. So I might just add it to the questions uh, in between India and in between impressions of Latvia. Mm -hmm. What are, What is your impressions about Latvia? Do you want to eat food here? And have you seen some Indians in Latvia? I guess that could be. So I see the Indians. They are like. Yesterday. Sorry. You took a picture from the guy. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. No, but it's about food. Yeah. Also, just just random, totally random. Totally random. Yeah. Uh, f I think India is like this little town, little cities, r running of people like ants, and they they are they are food lovers. They have totally thousand types of different food, and sometimes they they eat very spicy over there. They are also the people cooking. Uh, there is like a kitchen and you have to fight for having your plates, for having your dishes because everybody wants to eat in this kitchen. Oh, by the way, I didn't ask about Colombia, right? If you, if you have any dishes. Yes, of course, a lot, but that depend of each region. For example, in my city, it's a sapel ajiaco. It's a soup made from three kinds of potatoes with chicken. Three kinds of potatoes? Yes. There are a lot of kind of potatoes in my country. The oh, diversity. Oh, it's like Peru. I've heard of Peru. Maybe a lot of because potatoes. the diversity that you find of um, vegetables and fruit, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. That I miss a lot of my country. That uh, so it's chicken with three kind of potatoes with. Um, it's like uh, olive, but mm -hmm. it's not an, an olive, and a bit of cream. This is ajiaco. But for example, in other con in other part. You can find fried uh, fish with a kind of um, banana fruit. Uh, banana? Banana, but it's not banana. It's a vegetable that looks like a banana. It's plantain. You know it? Mm. I don't know. The fried I, might, I might have seen it, but yeah, I'm not sure. Yes, it's patacon with uh, coconut rice. This is from the coast. A lot of seafood. A lot of seafood. Really good. Um, Another that looks like a bit like a Spain food, that it's pork mixed with uh, rice and vegetables, so it's lechona. Another it's uh, rice uh, mixed with uh, green beans mm. um, with chicken, a bit of carrot, and it's made in a slide of the of a big tree, and it's covered and yeah, cooked. Can you eat it? Yes. Tamal, if you want, you can. <laughs> because yeah. I don't know how to explain the, the, that. They are food lovers. Uh, over there. Yes, we have a tamal? lot of food. Tamal, yes. T A Tamal. In my opinion, yes. the food voilà. brings people together. They're sharing moments, they're sharing happiness, they but feel more relaxed. But you see, it's made in a. Yes, the cover, it's like a. It's like a salad leaf. No, because we, we have uh, no because the sleep it's only to cover you didn't eat it's oh, you only don't eat it. no you ah, don't because we have uh, you can have ah, no, salad leaves mm -hmm. also wrap but then no you just not eat at it. all because oh, it's a really no, big it's time to cook it it's a big one so you cover the yeah. tamal and you cook but you can eat if not you will 
have a st stomach problem. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that depends of each part of the mm -hmm. of the country. But and so here, what is the traditional dish? Um, well, if you ask me, meat and potatoes. <laughs> just, just really, Polish, Eastern, Eastern European cuisine, in my opinion, is pretty similar. Yes, mm -hmm. as to in France, also in Western Europe. Well, I don't know, because sauerkraut is probably not that popular in France. Mm, not really, but we eat a lot of potatoes. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, those are those are the crops. But when it comes to the sort of dish formation, mm. I would say, yeah, of course, uh, f the French cuisine is more based on heavy fats, uh, yes. sort of the texture and the flavor. A little right? butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, that's, but that's a good thing. That's true. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. You, you keep it natural. Mm -hmm. Sort of yes, yes. Oh, well, and I think that's the that's the one of the marks of of the French that they want to keep everything sort of simple mm -hmm. and tradi traditionally valuable. Mm -hmm. It's not like you try to cook with margarine over there. You mean margarine? Hmm? Margarine? Yeah. Oh yes, it's disgusting. <laughs> These things with waters. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. The, the French have uh, sort of a affinity to traditional recipes. Yes, I'm trying mm. to keep it. I yes. like that. Yes. My mother, she do a, a lot of good stuff. Ah, yes. She cooking like, for example, the beef with carrot mm. and a lot of um, plant, different plants. Yeah, sounds like a stew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We do it over here as well. And it's a brown sauce at the end, and you put it on the potatoes, and you swallow it. I think I think that, <laughs> I think that dish originated from Hungary. Probably, I think so. It's very difficult to retrace where from the food, where from the dish, yes. because at the end we all eating seven mi billion of people and all eating. Yes. All right, let's finish, right? Yes, let's go to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that was really nice. I like it. It's the yeah. first time that I. So let me just press a lot of stops. <sighs> <laughs>